Hey, it's Jacqueline from Stage Right Secrets. And it's Gabby, and we're here with Mr. Talkbox. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, Gabby. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you today? I am great. I am great. I'm all uh, worked up here because we got a little tournament going on right yes. now called Cornhole. <laughs> Just a little yeah. cornhole. Just a little cornhole, you know. Yeah. You know how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> now, for our, viewers, for our viewers who don't really know you, can yeah. you kind of tell us, give us yeah. a little feel about who you are and what you represent? Absolutely. Well, my name is Byron Chambers, but most people that know me, they know me by Mr. Talkbox, um, one of the band members of Toby Mac in Diverse City. So um, I play about three instruments with him, <laughs> keyboard, guitar, and I actually sing too, I do background vocals, and I do an instrument called the talk box, thus the name Mr. Talkbox. So And can you explain what a talk box is? Yeah, well today most people call it auto tune, but it's it's not auto tune really. This is the original instrument back from the 60s where you actually have to know how to play an instrument and sing a little bit so you have to put this little tube in your mouth on the side there and you have to play this keyboard so it's kind of crazy but it's actually really cool so yeah that's wow you guys are learning stuff here all right, that's right. Fun facts for the day, you and go. you had a new EP come out at the beginning yes. of the month, yes, or January, called Show Me The Way, correct? Yes, I did. Can you tell us what goes into making the perfect Mr. Talkbox EP? Mm. What are your ingredients yeah. for mixing that together? Well, a lot of a lot of times when I go to write a record, I, I don't approach it as a record. I get inspiration from life. I get insp inspiration from just, uh, you know, traveling on the road, meeting people, and, um... This record actually came from a life experience, um, you know, the title, Show Me The Way, where I was just in a, a place where I really needed God to show me the way. And on, on a whole lot of things, you know, my personal life, my musical career, the direction I needed to go. And so, um, yeah, that's how that song came up. And then, actually, the concept of that song, I was going to remake an old Peter Frampton song called Show Me The Way, but you know, cool. that didn't work out, so you know, I kind of wrote it, you know, wrote it my own style, so. But definitely another ingredient of mine is having fun. I love my music to be fun, encouraging, and um, yeah, that's, 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 those are the two major ingredients, and prayer, of course. Prayer's a big one. Yeah. How long did it take you to make this one? Um, <laughs> this one actually took about a year. Really? Yeah, it took us a year to do this one. Like, um, uh, the song Party came, man, um, about a year and a half ago. Um, Show Me The Way, another song that came about a year ago. So, you know, we, we try to, I try to live out life. And when I sing a song, I really want to have passion behind it. And when people hear it, I want them to feel the passion that I, I put into the song. So, yeah, 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 man. Great. So, how do you find time working with artists and yourself? How do you find the happy medium? Mm. With a lot of people. Yes, I do. Name drop a few. Yeah. <laughs> a few. A few. Okay, okay, drop. all right, name dropping. Um, I, I work with NSYNC, Britney Spears, Backstreet Boys. Yeah, the whole 90s boy band movement. Yes. Because I'm from Orlando, Florida, and that all started down there. <laughs> um, yeah, but to find, you know, how I balance it is, you know, I just, I, I just really, I pray about it. I just, I ask God to just give me energy, give me rejuvenation to, to work with everybody give me fresh ears um, and I love it I really do I love it I feel like I was born to do this so yeah. and Winter Jam is such a big tour and there's a lot that goes into Winter Jam yeah. but you're also part of the after parties that they're doing yes. can you tell us about that because yes. there's supposed to be one tonight and we're we want to know what to expect that they're having one tonight well uh, you're gonna expect a crazy awesome just off the chain we call it crunk crunk, crunk. Okay. It's crunk like It's it's every after party that we do, it's it's amazing because these are for the people that's you know, just they're night owls. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a night owl. So. Same here. Yeah, I just I, I get going at night, so um it's just a cool way to get some positive music. Everybody get to come out and dance. We have we have food out there. I mean DJ Mad just just tearing up the ones and twos. It's amazing. Yeah. So yeah, man, if, if it goes down tonight, expect a party, man, because that's what we do. All right, yeah. well, expect a party. Yeah. So what's a normal day like on Winter Jam? Woo! Well, for me, for me, it is, it's actually pretty busy. 
Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah what, what I do in the run of a day, you know, I, I wake up, go get some, you know, I brush my teeth at least. I think that's what I do, yeah, obviously. <laughs> um, right? <laughs> um, I'll, I'll, um, I'll, you know, I'll get my day going, and then I'll go. We go outside, okay. and we go to the crowd that's standing that's in line. Right. Yep, and huge we, crowds. yeah, big, huge, thousands of people are standing in line, and I'll go out and um, me and a band called OBB. One, of the, I don't know if yeah. you, you know we, those we guys. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so OBB and I, we go out and then we greet everybody and just uh, we give them a couple of songs actually, teach them a couple of songs, and we sing, and then we we take pictures, we sign autographs, and then we come in. Mm -hmm. We do dinner. Okay. After dinner, OBB gets ready. They go on stage. Mm -hmm. Myself, I get dressed and get ready for the people that don't get in because there are thousands the of people. Yes. Mm -hmm. We do a show outside called the Winter Jam Rejects, and it is awesome. I'm telling you right now. If you, Yeah, it's, it's, I guarantee you, you will have a great time if you get rejected. You come to the... <laughs> The only time you want to be rejected. That is the only time you want to be rejected in life is <laughs> at Winter Jam. But um, yeah, we do that, and um, I host that, and then at the end of the night, I, I play my songs, okay. and then you know we mingle with the people, and then I come in, <laughs> change again, change clothes again. Again, this is like third time here. Third time here. I get in my Toby Mac wardrobe, and then I take the main stage with. Yeah, yeah. I take the main stage with, with Toby Mac and we play a 55 minute set and then thus the after party. The after party. So. <laughs> wow, sounds like a busy day. Yes. So, you know, when we got cornhole tournaments going on, I have to really schedule it out because I got a lot of things to do, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and you said cornhole is something you like to do in your downtime. Yeah, absolutely. Now, what else do you like to do in your downtime besides cornhole? Maybe yeah. basketball. You said yeah. basketball. Well, I, I love I love getting on my computer. Okay. Addicting. Yeah, it's social very addicting. Yeah. Oh yeah, social network. But I really do. I, I love to get on and do music. I love to do beats. Okay. And I try to stay on the cutting edge of of writing. You know, just stand up with the fresh sounds. Um, I hook up with Capital Kings. Y'all know Capital Kings. Those dudes are those boys are bad. And we get together and we we get, we share beats and we do things. And uh, yeah, it's just it's just fun. I love to do that. I love talking to my kids. Okay, how old are they? Um, six. Well. This year they'll be all turning a year older, so I'm going to give you the year older okay. version. So it's 17. Wow. My oldest. Is Handful. 17, right, and she's beautiful, and maybe I'll see it on my Facebook page or something. But 17, 14. Okay. My son, that's Byron. Jr. Newly teenager. Yes. yes. And and y'all know him from the Christmas album that we did called Christmas in Diverse City. Yes. I have a song on there called Christmas Time, and my son BJ is the rapper on that song. Family Affair. Family Affair. And my girls actually sing on it too. Really? And my youngest is 12 years old. Oh, yep. handful. Yeah, I'm, and I'm married. I've been married 15 years. Just wow. celebrated 15 years of marriage. So yes. I'm. Yes. Um, round of applause for yeah. that. Insert round of applause. Absolutely. Absolutely. So yeah. um, I love my family, and they allow me to do this. Yeah. That's so, great. Yeah. Yeah. So is there anyone else you still want to work with? Mm. Yeah, I mean, even though I had a shot, I mean, I, I worked with them for years, but I want to work with Justin. I was gonna say, what do you think about his new album? The 2020. You know, I like it. I like it. Like I it? like it. It's 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 still it's it's that the it's it's about the two year mark I would say, but it sounds like the Timberland sound yes. that he brought out a couple years yes. ago. But you know, I'm a fan of that, so I, I yeah. kind of I like it. I, I love suit and tie. <laughs> I think it's a great song. I really I like I love the beat. Um, yeah, but I would really love to work with him again. But you know, on the on the just on a you know solo. more artistry, yeah, solo type deal. So yeah, I want to work with him. And I'll make that happen. I'm going to reach. We want to see that. Okay? We want to see this happen, Absolutely. Justin. Absolutely. I'm just going to say that's an exclusive. That's an exclusive. You're, you're the first to know that. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for staying down with us.